Welcome to Ag Yield's National Database, entering a multifactorial experiment. This video shows you how to enter a multifactorial experiment with irrigation and species as treatments. This example is from the published dataset called Pasture Irrigation in the Mackenzie Basin Species Comparison. For this tutorial, only part of the dataset will be used. If you are a beginner user, please check the previous tutorials to learn how to use the basic tools of the Ag Yields database to add the reference and site details. Let's create a data grid for an example with two levels of irrigation, 0 or 300 millimetres per year, and two plant species. One is a monoculture of Marku lotus, and the other is a pasture mixture with the dominant species being Ruanui perennial ryegrass and Huia white clover, the companion species. On the Add New Site page in the Site Attributes box, do not check the irrigation box because irrigation is a treatment. Note that the species is checked by default. In this step, indicate that there are pasture species by selecting Pasture. Do not type species or cultivars here because they will be entered as an experimental treatment. On the Adding a New Experiment page, Complete the fields as required and scroll down the page to the blue box to specify the treatments. For each treatment combination, there is only one measurement. Select Irrigation and Species. Click outside the box to keep the selection. Insert the irrigation treatment levels, 0 or 300 millimetres. Next, choose the species treatment details by selecting the dominant species from the list. Type or copy and paste the cultivar name. Click on Add another species in the pasture mix to insert the companion white clover. Type or copy and paste the cultivar name. Click on Add another treatment equals dominant species. Repeat the process for inserting lotus. Type or copy and paste the cultivar name. Click Save. The grid has been created and the data can be inserted. Remember that you can change, order and filter the columns to assist with the data entry. Let's use copy and paste to enter the dates and yield values. If you enter a value or date incorrectly, the cells turn red. This can easily be corrected, for example by copying the values and pasting them in the correct column. Once you have completed the data entry, click Save. The treatment structure or the number of rows cannot be changed in the grid, only dates and yields can be modified here. To modify or edit the grid, go back to the experiment page and edit the experiment. If you want to change the number of rows, edit the number of measurements. For example, we want three rows of measurements for each treatment combination. If you need to add another treatment, for example we forgot to add potassium as a nutrient treatment, insert nutrient, potassium with two levels of 0 or 100 kilos per hectare. When making these changes, always check to ensure that information is correct and complete because the system will not keep the previous entries. Let's see how the grid looks with the edits. The potassium column has been added. 
and now there are three rows for each treatment combination. Two irrigation treatments, two potassium treatments, two plant species and three measurement dates for each combination. A total of 24 rows of data. Remember to add rows and columns, then exit the data grid and use the edit or duplicate tools. Use delete if you want to delete the entire experimental site. Please check the help guide and the other tutorials for more information. Contact our team if you have any questions.